This poor boy's life was taken from him by the beast that curses this land. A readily abled witcher hears his tale. Three thousand in coin the witcher demands up front. Through the quiet snow-ridden buildings, warm blood stains the ground. Into the slaughterhouse he arms himself at the ready. Noises all around, blinded by the unknown, the witcher knew not that this was his last day here. Fear consumes all of us from time to time. It drives us to act in the strangest ways. Could it be the fear of others being abused? Your scent was on her sheets. I smelled what you were doing. Could it be the fear of the lack of power you might have? I want to be powerful. Seen and adored with everyone watching. It is what I'm owed. No amount of power or beauty will ever make you feel worthy of either. Could it even be the fear of loved ones you cannot even utter their name? You learned that your sister was murdered, and you didn't even flinch. At the moment I mentioned the girl's father. Whatever the reason, fear is in all of us. It makes us do the darndest things. Be reborn. You will bear no more. Do you understand? Due to the king's abomination of a daughter, the witcher sees himself to rid her from the kingdom. Not through death, but through life. From Geralt's past fight with Renfri, he killed a princess. Here, he wishes to save one. A stark contrast to Yennefer's claim to power, removing her uterus so she may change her form and claim more power. A loss of life, her fertility, a forfeit of the greatest gift, life. What's astonishing is we have not two monsters reverting to being human, but two visually looking monsters turning physically into visually looking humans. We are shown Yennefer, although physically deformed, as a capable and defiant sorcerer. From her pain and fear, she gives up the gift of life to pursue a hallowed victory. Power for the sake of power, power for her own sake, because life to her was expendable. Geralt has much more power than most in the land, but is willing to give of himself to help transform the princess back to human. He has the power to kill her, but it takes all his power to not kill her, and he suffers greatly for it. Yennefer hasn't had much power to begin with in her life, and it's understandable as to why she chose her actions. Geralt is much older and has had much more time and experience to be calmed by the past, to know power isn't everything. Fear is something we all have, but what we choose to do with it is everything. We all have fears, some of being in a social setting, some of death. What we choose to do with the fear we have transcends that fear. What we choose to do with fear, it's our choices that matter. See you next time. I want to be powerful. Seen and adored with everyone watching. It is what I'm owed. No amount of power or beauty will ever make you feel worthy of either.